<laughs> Don't do that, please. Thank you. Oh! Yeah! God damn! Yeah! Oh! Oh! God damn! God damn! That's what I'm talking about right there! That's the race I'd watch! That's what you talking the about! Race. You've seen yeah, yeah. Whoa! I thought you said no screaming! No screaming! Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 145! Hundred and... F fuck you, 45. Hundred and fuck you. How about that? Hundred and God damn it. People. Let me start by saying... Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card, but you'll find out anyway, because I'll talk about it. You get it? This is how this works. This is not your everyday, ordinary, uh, get up and go to work type podcast, okay? This is the diarrhea dumps... That you take after you eat a big steak dinner and drink too much goddamn Samuel L. Jackson motherfucking wine. <clears throat> and I'm trying right now. If you can note, you see my phone right here? You see it, right? I know you do. I'm trying to go on the Reddit public access n network. Oh, fuck. You know their live streaming feature that they now have? And every time I hit start broadcast, it says tuning. And then it goes to say, looks like Reddit is having some trouble. So I can't do it. I really wanted to do this. But it just won't goddamn work. It won't even... What if I try this? Boom. Mm -mm. Mm. Uh, 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 what if I do this? Gosh! Damn it! Farts! It's not working. Ah, too bad. So sad. Janice, thanks for the thanks for the beverage. Thank you, Janice. Oh wait, you did bring me something, didn't you, Janice? It's Gatorade. Can I say that, Janice? Is that legal? Are we, uh, did, did, did Gatorade sign off on this? Do you know, Janice? What do you, what, do you know anything, Janice? Ah, it doesn't even taste like cool blue, Janice. It says thirst quencher. What exactly does that mean? Does it quench my thirst? Uh, I don't think so. Let's try starting the broadcast. Nope. Not gonna work. Not gonna motherfucking work with me, brother. Let me tell you something, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you right in your... <sighs> I should stop with that. Stop it! Said I wasn't gonna scream anymore, but guess what? I'm screaming. Because I'm a little... Oh, oh, it was so close. It thought a bit longer this time. Um... Um... I... Who likes juicy fruit? Oh my god, my camera has face detection. And it's picking up my tattoo as a face. Yes, I have that tattoo. Yeah, I have it, okay? You want to talk about it? That's a good sound bite. Machine Gun Kelly, his uh his diss track to E Minum or otherwise known as Eminem. Um, you know the one. It's been he, Can we start this podcast? Please, this broadcast. No. No, don't start the broadcast. 
You're not allowed. <clears throat> why don't we get why don't we get into something M- something, okay? I haven't said a goddamn thing. Uh the, so that opening clip that I showed is from uh, a funny old feller. He's not that old though. He's probably my age. Who goes by the name of Trevor Wallace. It's funny. He's a funny guy. If you want to laugh the same way you laugh when you watch people like, oh, I don't know, Gus Johnson. Or uh, what the hell's his name? Ooh, it's going to drive me nuts if I don't fucking look up his name. So I got to look up his name. Let's try starting the broadcast. Ah, damn it. It might not happen at all. TBH. TBH. Uh, Grandma doesn't like her soup cold. Uh, fuck me. How am I going to find this guy? Maybe in the history? I had some gummies that were not just gummies. They're medicinal gummies. Legally purchased because I live in Canada. Who am I looking? Where is he? Where I can't find him. I'm never gonna find him. I do not want to show my YouTube search history or viewed history, not because it's gross, but because it's well, you could say it's gross. I guess Ryan the leader. There he is. This is another funny guy. Da. <laughs> Go go subscribe to Ryan the Leader. He's only got 57k subscribe. Well, what, what am I saying? Only. Okay, that is a lot. Okay? Definitely more than what I have. I mean, that wasn't even a question. But uh still small amount of subscribers in terms of the grand scheme of of YouTube as a whole. Um this is this is actually the video a day in the life of a simp. This is kind of this is pretty well what I discovered him with. <laughs> it was uploaded three weeks ago. It's funny. Go watch it. Wait a minute. Did I have a video ready to fire up on this tab or no? Nope. That tab didn't even exist. Motherfucker. Uh, should we start the broadcast? Tuning? No, not gonna work. Okay, that's that's fine. That's that's fine. I didn't I I didn't even want to do a broadcast anyway. <clears throat> um, let's try something that I've never tried on this channel before. Get the camera out of my face. Oh, you think it's too dirty? TV's too dirty. For the children? Are those your thoughts? Yo, we're, doing it? we're doing it for the children. Yo, why you, why you got the camera on me, sir? Look, we're trying to learn about it for the kids. What are you trying to learn? Well, why are you following the camera around? That's what I don't understand. But you got the camera in my face, man. Well, you, you want to be on it, it seems like. I just want to get your opinion for the children. Please, I'm begging you nicely. Take the camera out of my face. Okay, but you're, so you're how you're following the camera. You see what you're doing? Move the camera away from my face. But you notice how you're moving towards the camera? Please move the camera away from my face. But you see how you, the camera is moving somewhere and you're being attracted towards the camera? Please, I'm asking you. But you notice how your body is, is being magnetically attracted Please. towards the camera that you are verbally attempting to repel? I'm not you notice that? Anything. I'm asking you. But you notice the contradiction. That's a violation of privacy. But let's let's discuss the contradiction. Can you please take the camera away from my face. Well, we're just walking around the park minding our own business. Well, you got the camera in my mouth. But your mouth is faced towards the camera. You're consciously well, choosing. The camera You're consciously making a conscious choice to talk towards the camera. You see, notice that? I don't, I don't, I don't Will you turn your face away from my camera, please? Will you please? I'm asking you, I'm begging you nicely to please turn your face away from my camera. Please don't point that face at my camera. You're 
Kicking the camera. Ow! It's over. Zoom out. God damn it! Zoom out. Oh, that's too far, buddy. That's too far. Why don't we zoom in a bit? There we go. <clears throat> you like that? Did you did tell me what you honestly think? Did you like that video? Because I liked it. <clears throat> um, you know, I would love to give the source of this. Wait, is this the actual source? St. Patty's Sassenach. What? I guess this is it? I don't know. Because this guy posted it from someone else. See, I'd like to give the video credit. No idea who fucking uh, owns it. Because this guy doesn't own it. And the guy who he sourced it from looks like doesn't own it either. That's the thing about the internet nowadays. Especially Twitter. Someone will say, hey, motherfucker. I like this video. So I'm going to... I'm going to take this video and I'm going to put it on my channel and be like, hey, guys, check out this video that I really enjoy. But I'm not going to credit the owner at all because I want the fame. I posted it. I want the fucking fame. You know, you see, you know, you know what I'm saying, brother? Listen here, brother. Fuck. What? <clears throat> so, crap. You um, I don't know. It's a good video. Whoever made it, whoever done did it, good job. Thank you so much. There's more of this on YouTube. You can find this on the YouTube's if you go to the comment section. This person here put a YouTube link. You can click this YouTube link, and it'll take you to a new page with the YouTube video or a YouTube video in which this puppet is contained. Isn't that cool? What the hell is it, the internet anyway? What does that even mean? A new tab? What is the internet? That was a question. That was a question that people used to ask. People, people used to they were scared of it. Do you remember that? Do you remember when people were scared of putting their credit card on the internet? Because they were scared of the internet. The boomers were. <laughs> but, but we weren't. When we were born, and I'm talking, when I say we, I mean my generation. When my generation was born, they had, they, we were in the beginning of the, of the internet age. We grew up with it, alongside it. So we had it. But we had it in its infancy. When the internet was just blooming. So we got to see the whole development up to this point. Since birth. Wow! The children nowadays are growing up with stuff that's already super developed. And so they're gonna pop, 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 but they're gonna grow up to something else. Who? Uh, why? What are we talking about? We could talk about this all day, all the way up to fucking year three thousand. Why don't we do that? No, let's. You know what? Let's not. Start broadcast tuning. Nope, it's just not gonna work. <clears throat> why doesn't it work? Can I Google? Can Google help me? <clears throat> Trying. Whoopsie daisies. Two. Uh, start broadcast. On. <laughs> Reddit. Public. Access. What does it say? Looks like Reddit is having some trouble. Bop. Let's see. What we got? Ow! There's too much shit in the way. I need to use mouse. 
You hate, don't you hate that? You're trying to use your mouse and you got like stuff in the way because you can't move it. Oh, not a single comment. <sighs> this is posted right on the goddamn Reddit public as is network. Goddamn Reddit page. And there's not even. This thread is archived. New comments can be. Wait, how do I get to it? Get me there. Uh, I don't know Reddit enough. I look like Dum Dum. I'm finding no information. How to talk or a blood gator dator dator. What does this guy have to say? Circles, go in circles. Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Shut Reddit up. tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you it. how you can start a live stream to the Reddit public. Okay, you know what? I can't fucking stand tutorial videos. How come every goddamn single one of them has to say, Hello, welcome to Bloppity Boopity. And then they continue to say what exactly the title says. Nobody cares about that shit. The reason people click tutorial videos is because they just want to figure out what it is they want to do and get the fuck out. You're not, you're not making tutorials for a fan base to come and regularly watch you. You're making a tutorial for someone who needs that tutorial in a time of crisis. There's no fucking... You're just pissing people off. Okay, if you really want a good tutorial channel, which I'm not, I guess I, I can't get shit on this guy. Maybe this isn't just strictly a tutorial channel because it looks like it's about gadgets. But I'm talking in general. When people make, you know what? Even if you're making a video like this, just get to the point. Literally, start at the point, the exact point. In which people need the exact point in which people are, you know, have reached their problem. Because people, this is so stupid. <laughs> you know, you're working on something, you get to the point of the problem, and you're like, ah, I need a tutorial. Let's go search for a tutorial, find one, click it. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Giggly's Gadgets 97. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. I'd like to thank everyone for coming to my video. And uh, today, I'm going to show you how how to put a shadow in the back in behind the, behind the subject in Photoshop. Okay, so first thing you're going to need to do is turn your computer on. Okay? And wait for it to load. Oh. Okay, and then type in your password if you have a password. Okay, then you're going to want to open up Photoshop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's That's, that's how 90% of the fucking tutorial videos go about the tutorial video. No, one's gonna, no one wants to sit there and listen to the bullshit that you're spewing. Just get to the fucking point. You don't have to say, open up Photoshop if the video is about a tutorial within Photoshop. People already have Photoshop open. <laughs> they want to know how to put a shadow behind the subject. That is what the title of the video is. That is exactly what people are expecting. So <laughs> when they click that video and you stumble around and fuck around for, for five minutes... Trying to explain what the title already told them. Cut it out. Cut it out. And just start with Photoshop open. Don't even say hello. Just say, click this button. Do this. Type this. Boppity boopity. Hit enter. Video over. And then, you know what? At the end of the video, put whatever the fuck you want. Say thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. People, I would definitely subscribe to a channel 
even though I would never subscribe to a tutorial channel, if someone fucking figured this shit out and did it properly, which I'm sure people have. The thing is, though, you can't you can't just expect one chan. You can't have just one tutorial channel. There's a tutorial for everything, so you have to convince every single person that their method is bullshit, right? Because there's tutorials for whatever the f like, literally anything, woodworking, sex, Gatorade drinking techniques. Like, literally, whatever you can think of. Like, broadcasting on Reddit is available in tutorial form. I came here. <laughs> the whole issue is that I'm trying to get this broadcast working. So I came to this video to figure out how to do the broadcast. So, went on a longer than uh, expected rant on tutorials. Public Broadcasting Network. So Reddit is currently testing a new feature which will be live streaming. Again. No shit. Like, obviously, right? We know that this, but... this feature is temporarily available and will actually be removed from the website at the end of August 23rd this week. So if you want to give it a try, you only have until this Friday to do that. So in this Why? tutorial, I'll show you how you can live stream to it very easily. One thing to note about it, there is a very limited amount of broadcasts that you can actually do on this. So the chances of you being limited. able to start a broadcast That's are why. pretty low. But That's I'll show why. you what it will look like and how you can get started. So Alright, so the first thing you need then, right? to do to begin live streaming to this. the Reddit Public Access Network you... is to simply download the official Reddit exact i predicted this video did i not download the fucking reddit uh, we already have the you know you don't have to tell people to download reddit app you don't have to tell people to download the reddit app if they're looking up a tutorial on how to do something within reddit they already have reddit obviously reddit app so you can find this app in your respective app store by app go ahead and open it up the broadcast network start play go ahead and open it up Go ahead and just expand it so that it's larger. I have found that the first time I open it, it'll kind of get stuck on this tuning area. So if that happens to you, all you need to do is just back up, open it again, and I found that then it will work like it just did. So it gives you a quick description of what it is. And now you can view the broadcast network. You can also upvote and downvote all of the different live streams. But if you want to actually broadcast and begin your live stream to the Reddit ah, Public yes, Access Network, that's what I came you to the video for. The broadcast. They do have very strict rules right now because they're testing this, so just make sure that it is safe for work. Select OK. And now we can add a title to it. All right, once you get your title configured, you'll be able to start your broadcast. Now, a couple things to remember. At the bottom here, we have some controls. On the right, you can flip the camera. By default, it'll be using the Still rear camera on your phone to, to record. And then you can flip it to I the front you if you click want. Start broadcast. You can also view the chat and interact with the chat. But and then I if you want to share your broadcast, you can get right. a link or share it on any social it media won't work for me. using the share button. So I'll select start broadcast and see if I actually can get it once started. Broadcast. This he little error right there means See? that the available Same. broadcast slots are Same. currently full. So I need to wait until one opens up. And then in the meantime, I can continue to hit start broadcast and see if I get me. lucky enough to actually be able to start one of these. And you may not even get to the point where you can see this error. Ooh. It may just show you a blue screen that says all the available. Okay, you can shut up. Because it took you two minutes and 25 seconds to say that 20 second little blurb. You piece of shoo <laughs> I was going to call him a piece of shit, but I'm like, that's too much. Don't call him that. Call him a piece of shoop shoop. Come on. It's been. <laughs> Sometimes you press it and it just kind of nicks the corner. It's been. And you don't quite get it. Other times you do. Um... Start broadcast. Nope. Give me that spot. Give me that spot, boy. It's the temptations makes me want to rock and roll. It's the <laughs> oh fuck. Ah, uh, god damn it, Sally. <sighs> okay, we got some stuffs to talk about, I guess. I'm gonna save the other thing for something else. I'm not not a different podcast. I mean, for a little later. God. Damn it! I am a fat motherfucker.
Just checking how long we've been running for here. Um, who is Canadian? Raise your butts. Who? I don't know if this was only Canadian, to be honest. But I think it is. I don't know. If you've seen this in America, put your butt in the air as well. <clears throat> but back in the Dizzy, you if you know me, which you don't, because no one does, because no one watches this shit. But if you do know me, <laughs> which you don't, because... No, yeah, um, I love nostalgia, and this this Philly cream cheese lady, who is dressed like an angel, is um, she <laughs> she was a part of you know uh, growing up because I remember these commercials as you know a lot of people do. She was in these Philly cream cheese commercials. She was the the what do, what do they call her? The Philly Angel. And she left. She just got up and disappeared. No one ever saw her again. No one even talked about her. No one even noticed. But now she's back to tell you that they're recasting the role of the Philly cream cheese angel. <laughs> And uh, they make it very clear in the comment section, and I'm not judging this. I'm just stating the facts. I'm not, I'm not doing. I'm not saying this because I disagree or agree. I'm just saying <laughs> that they make it very clear in the comments that they're not gender specific. They want. They specifically want a minority or something of that matter. Why am I? Oh my god. <clears throat> Uh, they w I gotta be careful how I word this. Here we go. We hear you. We want Philly casting call to be reflective of the of the Canada we know and love, diverse and inclusive. Because this person said, a person of color or a member of the LGBTQ plus community, please, or or just keep Linda Cash. <clears throat> so, because this person said this. They said this. <laughs> I'm not I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying, bro. Quit taking me out of context. Should we watch this? It's only 15 seconds. Hi, Canada. Remember me? I'm the Philly Angel. Wow. And I've come back to pass on these wings. So, post a short video on uh -huh. why you should be the next Philly Angel, and you could be the new me. Wait a minute. What's a hashtag? Hey, stop it. Uh, should I be the next Philly Angel? Because I did also see in the comments that they uh, are accepting male roles. Imagine if I was the Philly Angel. I like cream cheese. <laughs> oh, bro. Hmm, what is this? More photos of this monstrosity. I ordered extra cream cheese as they usually just apply it like butter. But this is clearly just an exercise in passive aggressiveness. How do I possibly eat this? Let me take a look. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> wow. That's a lot of cream cheese. Holy. You gotta slap that boy in the McCafe's face. <clears throat> no one replied to this? Isn't it obvious the next angel should be this McDonald's employee? Oh, hold on. Let me let me look at this tweet. My bag <laughs> is almost as big as tonight's 70 million Lotto Max jackpot. This kind of explains this whole guy in one photo. Doesn't it? You know, someone who drinks McCafe's, eats bagels from McDonald's, and buys 70 million Lotto Max jackpot tickets. And also in the background here, it says... What does that say? What What does that say? Something Porties Notebook. Block the something. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm looking into this. Oh wait, there's a better picture. Yeah, I don't that's not even English. 
It's English and French, which means he's Canadian. Yeah, because it's McDonald's Canada. Oh, my God, I'm so smart. <laughs> oh, how'd you figure that one out? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I'm Canadian? You know, I just know stuff. <clears throat> Wait, is this her audition? Angel Linda Cash was ready to hang up her angel wings. I thought, mm -mm -mm, don't believe it. Ugh. Good for you. Good job. Very nice. Does the person who gets the role have to be Canadian? Did I say that right? Does the person have to be Canadian who gets the role? Philly cream cheese. Philly Kennedy. Oh. Ooh, just what I wish for. Hold on. Ugh, I'm so hangry. Ooh, just what I wish for. Mm. I guess these wings will do until the new ones come in. Philadelphia cream cheese. Ugh. Cheese bagel. Name a better duo. What? This is the same level of cringe that my fucking seventh grade skits were. Start broadcast. God damn it, motherfuckers. Oh, when's it gonna work? I just want to start a broadcast. Will I ever get to? I don't really know. Come on, come on. Shama, Jamaica, Rico. I want to go to Jamaica. It's not working. People, it's not fucking working. No matter how many goddamn times I try, it just doesn't fucking work. <sighs> Wait a minute. Okay, let's talk about this. Let's just talk about this. Since we're at the middle of the podcast, maybe, yeah, maybe, nah, we're close to the end. I don't know. Don't fucking tell me, bro. <clears throat> Y'all know Greta Thunberg, right? The, uh, the little one, the little, the little girl who, uh, does stuff about the environment. <clears throat> you know, you know the one. I don't like to get too political on this poop cast, but sometimes I do. And this time, I'm, it's not quite political, I guess. Um, well, I get, yeah, not political at all. It's just more of, uh, uh, t you know, it's a touch, it's a touchy subject. What I'm about to discuss, and not touchy in the way that you think. Touchy, touchy in the way of like, you know, how pedophiles touch children. No, not like that. Well, sort of actually a little bit. <clears throat> Why don't I just get into this? Okay, so Greta. Okay, let me back up. There's this, there's an oil field company in Alberta called something something. I don't even want to say the name. There's a, there's an Alberta company. You can find the article. It's right there. On the screen, right there, right there. And they, you know, okay, so here's the thing. I used to, okay, I've said this before. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I used to work in the oil field. That's not, that's not me bragging. So don't even think that because I hated it. Um, and, you know, that's not saying whether I agree or disagree with whatever the oil field means to you. I was just in it. Okay? Um, but anyway, the, 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 there was an oil field company, or is currently, that is has made a sticker. A sticker with their company logo on it. And... Like a, it's a silhouette of Greta Thunberg, um, getting, uh, you know, booped, as some might say, in her, uh, you know what, you know, like, do I have to say it? Okay, 
it was a uh, graphic, disturbing picture of a child being canoodled. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know, okay. And so when I heard this, I thought, "Wow." <laughs> you know like obviously that is so not cool and it's just um you know whether you agree or disagree with whatever Greta Thunberg does I don't think that is appropriate response um but it's not surprising to me because you see this type of shit all the time in the oil field guys love stickers on their hard hats and it's this is probably just going to make more oil field workers wear that sticker to be honest like that's just that's just something that's going to make them want to do it even more and what is that noise oh is that this it must be that <laughs> Oopsies. um i could hear it really loud in my my headphones that's why I stopped so abruptly. What were we talking about? Greta. Yeah, Greta. How's it going, Greta? <laughs> um, but what the fuck were we talking about Greta about? The sticker. I know. I know the sticker, but uh, I was trying to make a point here. Uh, whatever, man. I don't... Fuck. I don't even like talking about it. Why did I even... Why did I even bother bringing this? Oh, I know why. Because I know a certain person not going to name any names or affiliations or how to I know the person but I know a person who used to work for the company and they've been getting hate mail like a moth okay for no reason at all doesn't even work for the company anymore and they don't care they're just attacking them calling them a baby raper all kinds of shit. Chomo. I There was even Chomo thrown in there. And I wonder if that's a reference to your mom's house. Christina P. and uh, Tom Segura. Tuning. Oh, my God. Oh, damn it. We almost got in, brothers and gentlemen. Or, I guess, girls. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> God, don't be gender specific. Please. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Why do we live in this planet? Get me out of here. Just kidding. That's what boomers say. I'm not a boomer. Um. <clears throat> Why don't we start this broadcast? Nope. 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 Come on, brother. Yeah, I just gotta accept my fate that it's never gonna fucking work. I was watching a broadcast on Reddit the other day, and it wasn't that interesting. It was a guy sitting at his computer desk in his office, and the title was, For every like 20 views I get, I will throw something at my coworker. And his coworker seemed like a grumpy older woman. Not like old, but like, you know, middle-aged woman very grumpy and he just started getting <laughs> he got like 4,000 views at one point and you know he had to catch up from like because he had to keep answering the phones and whatnot so he just kind of stopped throwing stuff and then the rest of the the cast was kind of just him just answering phone calls and then every time he'd hang up he'd like talk for a few seconds and then he'd get another phone call I'm trying to remember because he kept saying his company name and like, um, like he was he was listing off car parts. So like, me and a couple of other guys, we were the only ones there in the comments, just trying to figure out <laughs> what this guy does for a living, and you know what is he selling? <laughs> and just through all the shit that he was saying, we were like figuring out this guy's whole life, and we figured out. That he lived in Canada, but we didn't get a chance to figure out which province he lived in. 
he was about to address it and then the the feed cut off because he went for a smoke break and he must have hit stop broadcast or maybe he lost signal or something but he was still able to start up a new broadcast immediately after and i can't even get one started Ah, God damn it, Janice. It's all your fault. Oh, it's tuning. Ah, damn it. It gets me all excited when it goes tuning. Bop. And then it gets, hits you with, uh, sorry, we're having troubles. Sorry, we're having troubles. Come on. Come on, baby, light my fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Okay, you know what? This might be a new addition to the podcast. Every podcast, I'm going to have the old teller phone right here, <laughs> and I'm going to try my hardest to get a fucking broadcast going on Reddit Public Access Network. Come on. Tune me in. Make me your macaroni salad. Show me what you're made of. I can't get it, dude. I just can't get it, dude. You won't do it. Ah, God. God, I am. Oh. Oh, there's a dog barking. <sighs> yeah, there's some weirdo next door. I don't know. He's making kind of, he's, he's making these noises. And he's screaming. And I think there's this girl. I don't know, he keeps calling her stupid and telling her to fill up his cup and stuff. Yeah, maybe you should go arrest him. <coughs> yeah. So, here's this girl. What does it mean to be... <laughs> should I? No, you know what? Let's just watch this. There's this girl who's in school and she decides to make a video of her getting into a locker and closing the locker door fun fun uh, but she's got friends with her they close the locker she says hey hold up folks this isn't my locker why would you shut the door why don't we just watch it since nobody wants to let me in their TikTok, I'm going to fit in my own locker. Look what I just did. The door shut. Oh, I'm going to shut it on myself. The door shut and everything. I know. It's... Oh. This isn't my locker. Uh-oh. Um, it's 38, right? I'm 36. Okay. This isn't... Oh. Then why the freak would you get in some random ass? Because it was the only one open. It was the only one. Open your own locker! No, there's no point in that. No okay, points. it's. I already told you it's 45, 25, 41. No, oh my fine. god, y'all are literally. Go, go get somebody or something. I if need to get out of the locker. Guys, it's literally. It's literally. Why, it's literally why, 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 oh my god, guys! Oh it's literally so hot in here. Please get me out. Hot. Okay, go get the teacher. Go get the teacher, please. Is that it? Can't see. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> so she locked. She locked. Why would they asked a question there? They said, why wouldn't you lock yourself in your own locker? And she says, what's the point in that? Put me in a locker that we don't know the combo to. Jihad. And then I'll get mad at you because you shut the door. Is that what it's like to be a child? Would I have done that? Probably, but I would have locked someone in there. No, I wouldn't have. Not on purpose. Not on porpoise. What's a porpoise? <sighs> Why don't we start this broadcast? Nope. How about we don't? How about that? We don't need it. No, we don't need it. Why don't you guys uh, just ask the question? Just say it. 
Why don't you use this? Because. Okay, I want to try this red cab of <laughs> Redcast. Reddit public access network. It's because I want to try it. That's why. Don't. Don't bottle my butthole. <laughs> That's the saying, right? <coughs> That's what I should have played when I was being cringe. Stop it. Oh, remember, 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 remember these? There's lots. The fast way is, is Did rednecks kill your weapon. folks? I am like the elephant. I never forget. He never forgets. I still have the Halloween stuff on here. Check this out. Halloween? Halloween. A bit quiet though, aren't they? Yodel! <laughs> Jesus. I've been sick for the past three days. The first thing I did this Strap morning. Strap on my boots and watch me go. But I. Sleepy psycho you tubby little ginger cunt. Um. Yes. I didn't want to start the broadcast anyway. Oh. Is this as long as you want to go? Is it? I'm sure, oh, there is one other thing I could talk about, but I might not, but I might, but I might not, but I might. It's a shame you can't hear that dog. It's a real shame because I can hear him. Oh, can I hear him? And he's loud. He's doing one of these. Hoo! Okay. You want to know why he's doing that? Because his owner's not home. Why isn't his owner home? Oh, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Dog's still howling. <sighs> this felt like a pretty decent podcast. What do you say, Bobby? I think it's all right. If you ask me, why are you holding your belly like that? Oh, I don't know. Because I feel like it. <clears throat> should we talk about the thing that's left on the card? Or should I not talk about it? That is the question. Why don't we try starting the broadcast? Or not. Didn't want to broadcast anyway. Listen, people. I only got one thing to say. And it's this. I got nothing. I'm running out of stuff. The well is dry, folks. The bulb is smashed. Get a grip on society. And people... Hold on a minute, people. Ah. Okay, for the listeners of this poopcast, if you're listening to this on Spotify, iTunes, or Google Music, I totally forgot to... Well, I didn't really. I was going to say I forgot to explain the videos, but I kind of did, you know? Gotta, 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 gotta let those audio listeners know what's going on, even though there is none, which is fine. Didn't want any anyway. Someday. Oh, someday they will come because I 
der <laughs> hmm. I could literally probably be do this be doing this for the rest of my life and get zero views and I'd still think that someday I'm going to get some views who knows don't give up, right? I mean, that's what they all say. Don't give up. So, right now I don't give up. I gave up many a time in past on this channel, but not this time. You know, I stay commit. <laughs> God damn it, broadcast. I could really use a broadcast right now. I could really use a, a pizza right now, actually. Janice? Hey, Janice. Do you do pizzas? No? What if I uh, give you an extra dime on the house? Then will you order some pizzas? Some pizzas? God damn it, Janice. Can you get some pizzas for us? I would really appreciate a little bit of a pizza. A pizza, a pizza, I want some pizza. Chocolate, p chocolate pizza, please. Start broadcast. <gasps> oh my god, it got me all tickled up inside. Gosh, just give me a broadcast, please. It's all I've ever wanted in my life. It won't let me. Gosh. Is there one other video we can watch? Just 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 give me one other video, please. Here's what I'll do. Oh, I was gonna talk about that thing. H3H3 H3 podcast. Or just the H3 podcast, I mean. Sorry. This is what I wanted to say. A lot of people on Reddit and elsewhere are complaining about the H3 podcast. Saying that it's um it's changed a lot. In the sense that there is a real battle between the people in the control room versus the people in the in the actual studio. Okay, that being Ethan against Dan and Ian specifically. Um, but also the fact that they f they feel like Ethan is doing a poor job at I don't know having a conversation with his guests doing a poor job at interviewing, kind of taking over the flow of the conversation with ridiculous anecdotes and and not even funny or relevant questions. <clears throat> now, I'm not saying I agree with this, but what I am saying is I noticed the H3, the change of the H3 podcast. And so far... I'm fine with it. It's evolving as it should. But is it doing the is it doing it the correct way? Possibly not. Because I don't feel the same excitement that I did in the past when I would notice an H3 podcast thumbnail in my subscription box. And that's not because I'm getting sick of it. It's because I know what's coming up. Because there's been an increasing pattern in the behaviors of everyone in there. Including Ela. Okay? She... And I'm not saying anything... I'm not saying that in a bad way. I love the fact that Ela is actually talking now. She used to be very shy. But now she talks quite a bit. Just as much as everyone else. But you can you can sense this 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 way of communication that that both Ela and Ethan are uh putting out there they come across as like they've reached this level now where they're so above everyone that they're kind of they got this like I don't give a fuck attitude in and b they've always kind of had that but it's increasing. I don't really know what I'm saying. <laughs> but 
I don't know. There's like this. It's like this power dynamic thing going on. And it just seems like uh, Ethan does not care what his audience has to say at all. Which is fine. That's something that's known on the internet, you know. A lot of people don't even communicate with their audience. But Ethan knows what's going on. Because he's getting the information through Dan. And... I don't know. I don't really think they have to address anything. I still think it's fine. But I can see how this could head in a wrong direction. But also, if you've looked at any other channel throughout YouTube's history, they always, you know, start with nothing. Then they build their way up, get a good audience. Okay. And then that is the point where they're the most connected with their audience. You know, then then that builds and builds more and more followers. More people get more people in. And then they reach a level where they're like at a million subscribers. Or even, you know, close to a million. And now they're still, you know, grateful. And uh, they still communicate with the audience. But it's kind of their, like... That's the point where the... Uh, <laughs> you know, the the OG fan base... Gets to... Uh, gets to say to that, that new fan base, like, Oh, I miss the old, the old days. I, c- I totally forget what the fuck I was going to say. <laughs> God, I I ate too many gummies, I think. <laughs> I had something planned. I really did. And it just totally went. That fucking dog keeps distracting me. But also the gummies. Um, yeah. Fuck, what the... I can't believe... How that just totally just got up and left my brain. Scopity scoop scop. Why don't we start a broadcast? Nope. Anyway, yeah, so H3. Oh, yeah, I was going to oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember because I was saying if you look in the past throughout all the YouTube channels that have gained, you know, they go through their bumpy stages is what I was trying to say. Yeah, 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 that was it. You know, they get to that level. And then everyone's loving them. Everyone's jumping on the bandwagon. And then all of a sudden, they hit that bumpy road. Which is when they gain so much popularity and so much influence to the point where, you know, they can do whatever they want. That's when they start experimenting and stepping out of the norms. And that's when people start to get pissed off and upset. That's the bumpy patch. But then th- the channels usually find their way again. And they climb even higher. And then at that point, they can... they figured out the balance of how to keep the audience happy and themselves happy. <sighs> That's kind of what I was going to say, I guess. But I opened up a new tab for some reason. Is it because I was going to play a video? Of something to watch. Yes, it was. It was. It definitely was. I remember now. So there's... A, there, I want to recommend something. I got a... Uh, I got a burp. <laughs> Where is he? Zach? Whoops. Zach Anner. This guy... Is goddamn hilarious. I just I I don't even remember when I discovered him. It was a few years ago maybe. And he is just There's not there's not a lot of channels that can actually make me like laugh hard out loud, but this is one of them. Like Workout Wednesdays. Hi, I'm Zach Anner. Where the hell have I been? This is Workout Wednesday, the workout show that teaches you. Now, just so you know, this is a comedy channel, okay? If you don't know who this guy is, don't assume 
that I'm laughing at him just because of how he is. Okay, it's a comedy channel. How to be patient when I don't make these for three months. I've made a lot of videos on YouTube, and this one is my hundredth video. So to thank you, I wanted to talk about my okay, let me boy. Skip. Let's do this. Okay, you know what? Why don't you go to? Why don't, you, why don't you just go ahead and watch him yourself? I swear he's hilarious. All right, I'm not gonna sit here and watch his whole guy. Wow, 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 we almost got tuned in. Thought I was so close, dude. I swear it said tuning in for three seconds. What is that? Oh, that's my phone. Oh, that's Zach Anner's shirt. I was like, what's that red dot? That's his shirt. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. I can make a red thing. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at that. You can see the reflection. Oh, that's so cool, bro. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know. What do you think? That's kind of cool, right? Oh, that's about it, right? I mean, that's everything, right? That's everything. <clears throat> right? Start the broadcast. Could you imagine if I hit start the broadcast right now? Right when I'm about to end it? It's been... Um... um. <sighs> well, f well, listen, listen, ladies and... And gentle f frolicking frogs. Yeah, I said it. Um, I think that's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Poop Coost. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh,. I hope to see you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back the phone here. You gotta say, you gotta like the video. You gotta subscribe. You gotta smash that bell button. And you can leave a comment if you want. I don't care. But anyway, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope to see you in the next one. <sighs> Goodbye, everyone.